Hello, and welcome to this second recording of Avanti Self-Service. In this recording, we're going to go and review how users can open incidents through self-service and interact with the technician that's assigned their incident from the self-service portal. So here we're in the mobile self-service portal. It's called mobile because it's HTML5, it's responsive design, including native apps for iOS and Android that can connect into the portal itself. From this perspective, as a user, I can go through and search the portal. I can view the knowledge base. I can view my history. But today we're going to focus on uh, how to open an incident in here. Now, when we come to the catalog, this is where all of our requests and our templates and everything that we're going to be doing is going to be coming through is the catalog. I can filter that down to only show certain types of incidents uh, on here. I have a generic incident that we will go through here in a minute and also uh, our PC running slow uh, against this. So for this example, we have our PC running slow. We can come in here and request this. You'll notice it's going to go through, give me the information that's in the template that's behind the scenes, so I don't have to fill that in as a user. Puts in the summary, the description. If we wanted to make it so that more fields would be asked at this point, we can certainly do that. Uh, we can see it's gone out and searched for anything that may be applicable to this as we're going through. So other than that, we don't have anything that's going to help me resolve this from here. So I would just go ahead and be able to save that incident at this point. And then you see from here, we have a my items of everything that's gone through at that point. So now you can see we have this PC running slow. We can come in here and do a couple of additional things to that. If, for example, we wanted to browse and add in some kind of an error message or something that we're getting, we can go to our downloads from this perspective and just grab this particular um, image that I happen to have, and we can go through and upload that image, whatever that happens to be, and that could uh, attach that to that incident. I could also add some notes. Figure out why it is so slow today, right? Go ahead and click save, and that will allow that note to be added on to that incident as well for a little bit more description. Now, I obviously could have put that description into the, um, or that information into the description when I submitted that incident initially, but it's just a couple of different ways that it can be done uh, from here. So as I go through and submit that information, it's now into the portal, it's there, it's logged, meaning it's been sent to the team, but it hasn't been given to a technician. Whereas you can see some of these other ones that are showing as active are ones that I've actually moved and have been assigned to a technician. So let's go ahead and switch over to the technician side and we would be able to see that particular incident from here. Now, uh, if we go through and just do a quick search for all incidents, we would be able to see here's that uh, logged incident and I can go ahead and open that up. The first thing I would do is take ownership of that, right? Assign it to me so that I can go through and move it into an active status. You can see the service category, all of that stuff was already there. And that note is here along these lines with the information to the analyst to be able to go through and work with it. If uh, I wanted to go ahead and open that image, it would be here as well that I could go through and see that. And now as I come in here and look at the uh, notes, I could add a new note to respond back to them with this information. Okay, so we can go ahead and send that in. Now, out of the box, that would not send that user an email because we do have the ability to go through and send an email out separately. But that is something that's an easy configuration to add if we wanted to do that on here. Let's go ahead and switch back over to this incident. If we were to come in through here and pull this, we would then be able to see, here's that note information that's on there. We would be able to see and interact with that history. And then that information would again get pushed back up into the admin side to be able to work through from that perspective. So you can interact back and forth with notes. You can also interact back and forth with email. We did that one previous to this is our first self-service uh, video that you can uh, review and go from that perspective. Next thing I wanted to kind of show is if I'm gonna go through the service catalog and open up another incident, 
Let's just say I want a new generic incident uh, that's on here. You can see when I do a search for new, I get lots of different things. But let's just open up this new uh, request here. And from this perspective, let's say that we have a VPN uh, connection failing. We'll say that this is a, you know, a media emergency along these lines. And now from here, you would see that it's gone out and done some searching based upon what's been put in this first incident to be able to go through and do that. And so here you see, here's a VPN connection that's being uh, terminated by the client. Oh, maybe that's what's happening. You can see here, this has something to do with Active Directory password, maybe have some kind of synchronization um, and then go through and say that, oh, maybe I need to go in and uh, reset my password or uh, wait 30 minutes and then it would uh, allow it to go through from there. So if that's the case, I can go ahead, click resolve and it would both open and resolve my incident directly from here. It would attach this knowledge article so we would be able to see how effective that knowledge article is over time as we're going through from this perspective. So we've been able to open an incident, interact with the service desk a little bit. We've also been able to see an incident where we would open it, but have a resolution straight from the knowledge base to be able to go through and find any of the different uh, pieces along those lines as well. Again, you can see several other things that would be maybe applicable. In this case, their you know, Wi-Fi connectivity and, and closer parking spot aren't relevant, but they did find it based upon the connection VPN searching that was in there. That's it for our second self-service demo. We've been able to open one incident, been able to also resolve our own incident through the, the knowledge base on our second one. Thank you.